everyone, welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to Panama, Illinois to check out the historical marker here in honor of John L. Lewis. So let's go and check it out. John L. Lewis was a famous union organizer and mine worker. He was very famous between about 1920 to the 1960 roughly and he was born in Iowa, lived there for the early part of his life, but he later moved here to Panama and he lived here for Panama for a few years and it was here in Panama, Illinois that his basically his career through the the ranks of the mining industry and so when he became Base, the union leader for mine workers. It started here in Panama, Illinois. And so the fine folks here in Panama, along with some other people, they've placed a historical marker. And so we're just gonna go and check that out. And in honor of Lewis, the village has, donate, has designated this park here, the John L. Lewis Memorial Park. This is John L. Lewis, United Mine Workers of America. United Mine Workers of America President and Congress of Industrial Organizations, CIO founder, John L. Lewis, came to Panama, Illinois, from Iowa with his family in 1908 to work in the mines. Within one year, he was president of UMWA Local 1475. In 1909, Illinois UMD. UMWA District 12 hired into Lobby Springfield after the 1909 Cherry Mine Disaster, which killed 259. In 1911, the American Federation of Labor hired him as an organizer. In 1919, he became the UMWA Acting President, an office he was elected to in 1920 and held until 1960. The UMWA was the nation's largest union and Lewis ruthlessly held power. Frustrated Illinois miners rebelled against Lewis in 1932 and organized the Progressive Mine Workers of America, which led to bloody battles between insurgents and UMWA loyalists. In 1935, Lewis launched the Congress of Industrial Workers (CIO), challenging the AFL craft unions with indu industrial unionism, bringing millions of workers into the union movement. Lewis negotiated better wages, safety, health welfare and retirement programs for miners. Nationally renowned from the 1930s to the 1950s, famous for his bushy eyebrows, stentorian voice, and Shakespearean rhetoric, Lewis was both feared and cultivated by politicians. His support was critical to President Franklin Roosevelt's 1936 re-election, though he did not support Roosevelt in 1940. Lewis kept a Springfield home and is buried in that seventy in that city's Oak Ridge Cemetery. Now the village of Panama, it was founded, there used to be a coal mine that was here and the, the town was founded because of that mine. And so it has a strong connection, a strong relation to the mining industry here in Southern Illinois. And uh, you know, Lewis, he played an important part of that in the early days here of the Panama mine. House Labor Subcommittee, here's John L. Lewis, head of the United Mine Workers, in a five and a half hour debate, which stemmed from the recent Centralia mine disaster and Lewis's subsequent quit work order. If we must grind up human flesh and bones in the industrial machine that we call modern America, then before God I assert that those who consume the coal and you and I who benefit from that service because we live in comfort, we owe protection to those men first and we owe the security for their families if they die. I say it, I voice it, I proclaim it, and I care not who in heaven or hell opposes it. That's what I believe about that.
And so we've also come out here to Union Cemetery where there are many miners who are buried here. And here in Union Cemetery, there is a memorial to miners inscribed here on the, the front. You can see the picture of a miner and underneath it reads, the public does not understand and I think never will that, that almost spiritual fealty that exists between men who go down into the dangers of the mine and work together. That fealty of understanding and brotherhood that exists in our calling to a more pronounced degree than in any other industry. The public does not know that a man who works in a coal mine is not afraid of anything except God. That he is not afraid of injunctions or politicians or threats or denunciations or verbal castation or slander. That he does not fear death. John L. Lewis in Panama spoke those words, 1910. And these bricks are listed. Various miners who worked in the local mines and many of who are buried in this cemetery. And the back reads, this monument is dedicated by the cemetery committee and its many volunteers to the coal miners who lie in these hallowed grounds are thanks to the numerous organizations and to the citizens who opened their hearts and graciously gave of themselves. May these miners rest in peace, for without them there would be no village. God's blessings be upon them and on everyone who helped to make this monument a reality. That was the John L. Lewis historical marker and the Miners Monument slash Memorial here in Panama, Illinois. This has been another adventure in TV land. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit that dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or you have a suggestion about some future video you'd like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this adventure or any of the adventures in TV land, you can help support this channel by going to buy me a coffee or Patreon or even here on YouTube and making a donation or becoming a member at either one of those places. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.